guys, it's Way Hat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys what is probably the best high budget trading method to use on Xbox, and that is going to be trading with Legends. Now, sadly for you guys on PlayStation 4, this is not going to work, obviously, because you don't have Legends. However, I will do a video that works for both consoles, which is, again, going to be one of the best high budget methods you guys can use. And that's going to be trading with Team of the Years and Team of the Season. But obviously, you guys need a lot of coins for these methods. Around 500,000 coins is best to be able to effectively do these methods. However, you can do it with around 200,000 and still make yourself plenty of coins. So without further ado, let's go on into the method. Now, the filter you guys are going to have to use is very, very easy. All you need to do is just go to Legends. And that is the only filter that you guys need. So just go to Legends like that. And now, you've got loads and loads of Legends. You just want to look for any open bids. And then you guys can potentially bid on them. So we've got a loud drop going for 160,000 coins. And as you can see, his minimum buy now is around 170,000. Now, if you pick him up for that, you're going to be able to make maybe 3,000 coins drop in him. That is not a very good example. You're still going to be able to make a couple of coins on him. And this is during the day when the legend prices are going to be at their highest. During the night time, there are going to be a lot less cards on the market. The prices of these cards are going to rise up a lot because there are going to be a lot less on the market. That's just how FIFA works, really. A lot less people seem to play during the night. It's a lot of people in the US uh, rather than people in England and Europe who play during the day. Now, if you look here, we've got a De Boer, 65,000 coins, and he's going for around 75. So you can make about 8K coins on him. Now, you do need to take EA tax into account here. That is 5% of what you uh, sell the player for. You're not going to get back. So, for example, if... You sell a player for 100,000 coins, you're only getting, going to get 95,000 coins back. If you sell them for maybe 200,000, you're going to get 190,000 coins back, and so on and so forth. But, you just want to go through and look for any open bids, or any players who are listed up extremely cheaply. Uh, for example, this guy right here, Beerhoff. He is going for around 80,000 coins. We've got one for 30, you could put a bid on him. 26 right there. Another for 26. Another for 26. So many open bids here. You guys can potentially put bids on and make yourself a lot of coins because not many people really bid for legends. When you get into a bidding war for a legend, we've got Bayer here. He's going for around about 80k and he's going for 63 on bid. Uh, these legends here, you're only going to have a couple of people trying to win one of them because not many people seem to use legends this year. Uh, especially at the moment, there's so much hype around team of the season. Everyone is wanting to try the new team of the seasons. They're not going to be looking at legends. And uh, we have yet another deal here. Nesta, 134,000 for him. And he's going for 105. And you're just not going to have much competition to get outbid on these cards. You're going to have maybe one or two other people trying to get these players. So if you guys have the coins, you can essentially make a lot of coins. Because you can just pick these cards up easily. Then list them up overnight. And you don't even have to list them for the lowest buy now to sell them on. Because overnight, there are going to be a lot less cards on the market. Because more people open packs during the day. That is when there are the lightning rounds. And just more people play FIFA in the daytime. In the evening, there are going to be a lot less cards on the market. Once you get to the early stages of the morning. So 1 to about 5 in the morning. You guys are going to be able to probably make a lot more coins. Because there are going to be like 2 or 3 cards of some of these players on the market. Instead of about 10 or 20. And the price are obviously going to be higher. Because there are less cards on the market, so you guys can then sell them on for more overnight. That is just a very, very good tip for you guys. Less players up overnight. I do that all the time in any of my trading road to glories. And whenever I just trade and list players up, list them up overnight. It definitely does work best. But you can also just compare the price of a player. So let's go with Sheringham, for example. And that can bring up a lot of good deals. So he's going for 79,000. And you guys can see right here, one for 25. You can put a bid on him. And yeah, you just want to go through the legends, you want to find someone, and then you just want to compare their price. And obviously, you do need to have a lot of coins to do this, but if you've got maybe 100, 200,000 coins, you can do it. But you're going to be able to bid maybe one deal up, then wait for them to sell on. But if you do have a lot of coins, this method is just insane. Like, if you guys have a couple of hundred thousand, uh, maybe like a bit more than 500,000, you guys can make just so many coins. Because you can put bids on loads of these guys, you can mass bid on the legends. And when you pick up a couple of them, you guys can make 10,000 coins on one, maybe 100,000 coins on some of them if you get them on a buy now, maybe 5k on another, 20k on another. There are just so many cards that you guys are going to be able to get bids on and pick up and you guys can just make a lot of coins overall and something which has worked previously. It's not worked for me before uh, because I didn't really have the coins at the beginning of the game when this was kind of a big thing to do and that is trying to snipe these cards. Now, what I like to do is just go through, compare the price, and we have another uh, open bid that you could potentially pick up. But if you go through these cards, compare the price of all of them, and go up to 
uh, the 59th minute for some of these cards. See if uh, if there's one that's been listed up extremely cheaply. Uh, and you guys can make just an insane amount of coins if you get a very, very cheap player pop up. And this has happened a lot to a lot of people. We've got Hiero there. That is another deal you could uh, put bids on. But this has happened to a lot of people. Some people have managed to get insane deals on some of these cards. Uh, I think someone got like a Mateus who is one of the most expensive legends. He's like over 500,000 coins. Someone going for like 100k ones uh, on one of these deals. We've got a load more deals here for Vieri. It works very, very well with some of the lower budget uh, legends because uh, not many people do want to pick them up because they're not overly good for most of them. So you guys can often uh, pick them up on a bid. People just list them up extremely cheaply. Uh, we've got an Akotcha here. He's going for a round. What is he selling for? 250k and there's one right here for 150k and say you picked him up for maybe 200k you guys could make a lot of coins on him and there are often deals on the buy now as well that you can see just because not many people are going to be checking these prices so there could be a card on the market for like five minutes before it's actually picked up by someone so right here we actually have a an Akotcha listed up on a buy now for 10,000 coins less than he is selling for now obviously due to EA tax you wouldn't really make any coins on that, but you often can get deals that are listed up maybe 20 or 30,000 coins cheaper. And you just have to take a look on Twitter for uh, legend deals that have been picked up, but there are some insane players that people have picked up extremely cheaply. We do have another card right here, a Pauletta 26k. Again, listed up very cheap, and it's going for around 95k. So you guys could easily pick them up, very, very easy coins. And I definitely recommend that you guys try this method out. It's an amazing high budget trading method. That's going to be the end of this trading method, guys. I'm going to be bringing you guys one that will work for higher budgets on both PlayStation and Xbox. Because obviously this only works on Xbox. But a lot of you guys on PlayStation have been telling me uh, that uh, these methods still work for you. But some people have been asking, do these methods work on PlayStation? And uh, pretty much all of them do other than this one. So if you guys on PlayStation, don't worry, I have got another trading video coming pretty soon for you guys. Also, I have got this new shirt from uh, the Euros, which is pretty cool. And I am going to be doing uh, football videos in the next week or so. I'm going to be recording four football videos with another YouTuber on Wednesday, I believe. So that will be pretty cool then. I've ordered a really, really good football, uh, an official uh, FIFA approved match ball. So I can do some pretty cool videos with that and uh, yeah I'm going to be recording some videos today on my own probably some free kicks and stuff uh, ready to bring out for 3,000 subscribers we're literally like 20 subscribers now off uh, 3,000 which is insane I mean we hit 2k like two weeks ago so thanks a lot for the support on the videos we may have actually hit 3k by the time this video comes out but anyway really hope you guys have enjoyed the video 25 likes would be awesome if we could hit that I'd really appreciate it but anyway hope you guys have enjoyed it I'll see you in my next video take care